Fernando Valenzuela. The name echoes through the halls of baseball history. He was a pitcher of unparalleled skill. He was a cultural icon. Born in a small village in Mexico, he rose to conquer the biggest stage in baseball. El Toro, as he was affectionately known, captivated the hearts of millions. His screwball mesmerized batters. His charisma charmed fans worldwide. He was a symbol of hope and pride for the Latino community. Fernando's story is one of perseverance, talent, and the unifying power of sports. He transcended the game of baseball. He became a symbol of possibility. He showed the world that dreams, even those born in the humblest of beginnings, can take flight. His legacy continues to inspire. He paved the way for generations of Latino players. His name is synonymous with excellence, humility, and the unyielding pursuit of greatness. Echoaquila, Mexico. A small village nestled in the heart of Sonora. This is where Fernando's story began. He was one of 12 children. Life was simple, but his love for baseball burned bright. Fernando's talent was evident from a young age. He played barefoot on dusty fields. His arm, a gift from above, launched fastballs that seemed to defy gravity. He caught the eye of scouts. His journey to the big leagues had begun. He signed with the Los Angeles Dodgers. He was just a teenager. He climbed through the minor league ranks. His screwball, a pitch that seemed to dance in midair, left batters baffled. He was destined for greatness. The stage was set for a legend to be born. He was ready to show the world his talent. He was ready to embrace his destiny. He was ready to become Fernando Valenzuela, the pride of Mexico and the icon of Los Angeles. 1981, a year etched in Dodgers history. A rookie left-hander from Mexico took the mound. He captured the hearts of a city. He captivated the attention of a nation. Fernando Valenzuela was a sensation. Fernando mania swept through the Los Angeles like wildfire. Fans flocked to Dodger Stadium. They wore sombreros and waved Mexican flags. They chanted his name with unbridled passion. His screwball was unhittable. He pitched with a poise that belied his years. He won his first eight starts. He set a rookie record with five shutouts in his first eight starts. He captured the imagination of baseball fans everywhere. He was more than just a baseball player. He was a cultural phenomenon. He bridged cultures. He united people through the love of the game. He became a symbol of hope and inspiration. Section four, a cultural icon for Los Angeles and beyond. Los Angeles embraced Fernando as their own. He was a hero, a symbol of pride for the city's large Latino community. He broke down barriers. He showed the world the unifying power of sports. His impact extended far beyond the baseball field. He inspired countless young Latinos to pursue their dreams. He gave them a voice. He showed them that anything was possible. He embraced his role as a cultural ambassador. He was humble and gracious. He never forgot his roots. He always remembered the people who supported him on his journey. His legacy transcended borders. He became a national hero in Mexico. He was a source of immense pride. He inspired a generation. He showed them that greatness could be achieved. Section five, Dodger Blue runs through his veins, the 1981 World Series. The Dodgers faced their rivals, the New York Yankees. The stage was set for Fernando to etch his name in baseball immortality. He pitched game three with the heart of a lion. He battled through a tough outing. He kept the Dodgers in the game. His performance embodied the spirit of a champion. The Dodgers went on to win the World Series. Fernando's contributions did not go unnoticed. He was named the World Series MVP. He had reached the pinnacle of his sport. His performance cemented his place in Dodger history. He became a legend. He embodied the spirit of Dodger baseball. He exemplified dedication, perseverance, and the will to win. Section six, a voice still heard, a legacy still felt. Fernando's playing days eventually came to an end, but his love for the game never faded. He returned to the Dodgers. He became a Spanish language broadcaster. His voice, once a familiar sound on the field, now filled the airwaves. He brought the same passion and knowledge to the broadcast booth. He connected with fans on a deeper level. He remained a beloved figure in Los Angeles. He was a constant presence at Dodger Stadium. He signed autographs, he posed for pictures. He always had a smile on his face. He never forgot the fans who adored him. He never took his platform for granted. He used it to give back to the community. He used it to inspire the next generation. 
Section 7, number 34, Forever, Valenzuela's Enduring Legacy, 2023. A historic night at Dodger Stadium. The Dodgers retired Fernando Valenzuela's number 34 jersey. It was a fitting tribute to a true icon. His number now hangs alongside other Dodger legends. His legacy will forever be intertwined with the history of the franchise. Fernando Valenzuela's story is an inspiration. He was a young boy from a small village in Mexico. He chased his dreams and conquered the world. His legacy extends far beyond the baseball diamond. He taught us about the power of dreams. He showed us the importance of hard work, dedication and perseverance. Fernando Valenzuela El Toro will forever be remembered as a legend of baseball, a cultural icon and an inspiration to us all. His legacy will continue to inspire generations to come. His story will forever be etched in the hearts of baseball fans around the world.